my friends thank you so so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jen and I love all things color we talk about makeup skincare I love all kinds of color makeup and also my favorite topic sunscreen uh, speaking of sunscreens I do have like an exclusive playlist for physical sunscreens just physical sunscreens so I will leave the link down below if that's a subject that really interests you speaking of makeup sunscreen and color today we're talking about products that combine all of them this is like an ultimate hybrid <laughs> it has color it's a makeup product and it has fantastic ingredients SPF so we're gonna look at some color science products so they had like a little sale going on so I just thought but let's buy some makeup this time because I did do color science flex review then color science uh, original sunscreen in the original finish regular finish and the matte finish just a little heads up matte and the regular original are very different on my skin tone so I will leave, leave all the links for those videos down below if you are also a big fan of sunscreen this is here if you have dark skin color science is like a one-stop for all of your sunscreen needs great ingredients they're all physical sunscreen they're uh, a zinc they you they're just zinc I think zinc is a very very great amazing ingredient it's not going to hurt your skin it's very soothing uh, so yeah it's like a one-stop shop to be honest if you just looking for, if you have darker skin tone or, or even like lighter skin tone I think for everybody color science is like a one-stop shop to shop sunscreen amazing 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 brand so anyways before we get started in the swatches i do have like a demo section and a review section so let's get started on the swatches before that do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing if you like this kinds of content so yeah let's get started right now i have all of the products so i got um they were doing like 30 percent off if i'm not wrong so last year i was eyeing this this blush sticks blush or highlighter stick so they have three shades so they they are like 30 30 dollars 35 dollars i'm not sure so they also had the set this trio they have three shades and they put all three shades like in a set and they they sold as like a little pack with little discount so if you get like 30 percent off of that already discounted price bundle price so last year i think i missed it uh, it was sold out um so this year i was eyeing so when i got i, I like if, if you just sign up for to their website i think they'll give you like early access to their so, um, site when whenever they do a sale so i got early access so things were completely in stock so i grabbed the trio so um they all have spf so color science is a i'm if i'm not wrong every product in their uh, website has uh, sunscreen in them spf so the these three have spf 50 and it has a pa uh, five plus sorry four plus rating uh, let me quickly check in all shades because sometimes it'll differ shade to shade so yes pa rating quickly is like a rating for to that shows how efficient your the product is from protecting your skin from uva rays exclusively this is just for uva rays because uva rays is a uh, most dangerous for the for skin because it doesn't uh, if, if i'm not wrong it doesn't cause like the superficial damage like burning your skin at uva actually penetrates deeper into the skin and causes that irreversible damage the actual aging damage so that's very uva is the body of uva uvb yeah anyways so pa4 plus signs so that's really good and then uh, the prime ingredient for spf here is zinc oxide that's which is 12.5 percent and all of them are made in usa so there are three shades blush uh, sorry this is berry sorry berry and they have this color coding stripe going on so this is berry this is blush and this is bronze I was um, honestly I was uh, expecting a lot from the shade bronze and the least from the shade blush but honestly this is out of all three this is my favorite so let's let, let, let let's quickly see how it all works out and then you can the swatches Oh, before I forget, I also got a gloss because I've been eyeing this product also for a while. 
These are called color science lip shine. These also have SPF, they have SPF of 35, and they also have a PA rating, PA four plus science. If I'm not wrong, I think five plus science is like the best rating a product can get. So these, all of these have four plus science, and this has a zinc, the active ingredient in the lip shine is zinc oxide as well, and which is 6.6%, that's I think the concentration, 6.6%. This is also like $30 if I'm not sure. So the blush sticks, let's just tell, I quickly wanna tell you guys how much you get. Uh, you get nine grams of product, that is plenty. So nine grams of product in each of the blush sticks and then this is also like 30s price range and this is also like in 30s price range. You get four milliliters in this, which is not a ton, but at the same time, it's all also not like very little, but I think it's not a lot for milliliters. So uh, the blush, sorry, the gloss is also made in USA. So all of them made in USA, nine grams for each for the blush and then four milliliters for the um, lip gloss, lip shine. And they all four of them have a PA rating of four plus signs and yeah. Let's get started. Let's do a quick swatch on the on the arm and then I will see what it looks like on the face. I did like I have all of them, all four of them on my face right now. So let's quickly swatch them. Let me show you the packaging. So it did uh, come with as a trio, right? So it has this like um, rolling thing, a roller. So you just twist it up and there you go. That's the, that's berry. Honestly, it does not look like a lot, but it is pretty dark. You'd see in the um, in the demo section what it looks like. You'd see, yeah. and um, I used I did not use any brush on the uh, face for to to put these products on. You'd see in the demo that I just like just used my fingers and it just like literally melted into the skin. So that's berry. Let's do blush. Blush honestly is like a very flesh toned color. It has pink and it has brown. It's not a sickly pink at all because of the brown. It really, I don't know, it adds some life to my skin. And this, uh, the finish on berry and blush is the same. They are, there. there's no like shimmer per se, but it's kind of like a satin finish. It has that mild glow. I, I think in the um, demo section I mentioned it has shimmer, but actually it doesn't have shimmer. I'm sorry about that. This does not have shimmer, both berry and this doesn't sh have shimmer. And I think because of that SPF, it has that glow. All, all sunscreens have that glow, right? So this also has that satin, satiny glow. You can definitely use uh, this as a highlighter. That's what I have on my skin, this as a highlighter. And this also you can have use it as like a statement blush and kind of blend it a little bit right here to give that glow also on just the apple of the cheek. You can definitely do that with the berry shade. It's a really, really good one. But I love the tone of that pink. It's very flesh tone. It's not ashy, it doesn't look sick at all. Look at that, it's a beautiful, beautiful color. I'm impressed to be honest. Now let's talk about bronze. Um, bronze is bronze is a bronze shade as you can see it's darker than uh, the blush but my only concern is it has very visible glitter guys it definitely has visible glitter I think you can see it yes you can see it absolutely and when you kind of like blend the edges into the skin it is more visible and I'm not <laughs> in a point in life where I want glitter on my face. I mean, I I wouldn't hate it. Like, if I have no other choice and this is the only thing left, then I would put it on my face, but I wouldn't like voluntarily put this on my face. You know what I mean? I wouldn't like actually reach for this. So yeah, that's something. Um, but you can definitely also like apply it on the body if you don't mind. A little bit on the legs, especially during the summertime, I think it'll be really good. Um, so this wouldn't completely go as a waste even if you buy it at uh, this set as a trio or if you were to buy this bronze shade of the or if this is the tone you actually like you can definitely put it all over your body too so yeah so bronze is my least favorite just because 
it has those chunky glitter without the glitter i think it would have just like <laughs> it would definitely dead take in the first place for sure it's a really really pretty color look at that it's very pretty but personally i love the blush i really love love how it's like uh it doesn't exactly show up as a um like a blush on my skin tone hang on it doesn't exactly show up as a blush on my skin tone for sure even if you build it up it doesn't show up show up as a blush but i don't know i feel it makes my skin look very healthy look at that it's very pretty and then i quickly want to show you oops i, I quickly want to show you swatches of this shade this is in the shade rose and the applicator is just like a regular applicator guys it has like a very medicinal scent i don't know it's like a mint medicine like peppermint i mean not like the leaf not that kind of a mint it's like a peppermint and i gotta say i was expecting this to be a little bit more darker and um, this is more it does have like golden shimmer in it just like why this is what i have on my lips slightly lighter than my lip color so i wouldn't have to over apply it because it will sink in the lines and you can already see the sinking the line so yeah those are the swatches so let's quickly get into the demo section and then you'll you know what my final thoughts are on the product let's do a little demo and see what these blushes and highlighters look like on the skin so right now i have sunscreen and i set my face with my favorite powder here you go laura geller's um balance and brighten in deep so that's what i have on my face set my sunscreen with this and yeah i thought since we have two one a strictly this is a like a you know highlighter shade so or a bronzer depending on the skin tone so i thought i'd use this on one side and the blush is kind of on the lighter side the shade blush so i thought i'd use it as a highlighter and see and also a little bit here and so that you can see what it actually looks like so i'm just gonna take the shade blush and just put it right there not a lot of color i don't see a lot of color you can see the product actually but not a color right not exactly color so i'm just gonna swipe this in a highlight where the high points of my skin or cheeks and then now you can see a tiny bit of color but that's more like a sun-kissed kind of a color and it also serves as a highlighter because of this tiny tiny bit of shimmer particles which you don't even see so yeah i know my skin is like with the sunscreen it definitely amplifies the glow but even without sunscreen the shade definitely looks like a highlighter so that is so blush definitely on my skin tone absolutely uh, looks like a highlighter like a very glowy highlighter but without zero shimmer zero glitter so this is the shade bronze bronze is that let's do this this is definitely a highlighter shade you can already see it's like adding like significant glow to the skin and it does also have as you guys saw on this um, swatches it definitely has glitter in it so that's what it looks now you can see the glow is a little bit amplified compared to just like sunscreen and powder that's what it looks like i personally like the blush because it is more like a rosy toned but still it's like a flesh tone color but still uh it has that i don't know it's actually a, the perfect flesh toned color look at that it's just like perfect flesh toned and it has the very 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 minute shimmers you don't even see it so I, my personal favorite is a blush actually so let's put the berry shade I'm just gonna put it right here just in the apples of the cheek you can just like melt it to the skin i mean you can just leave it like as is oh actually you know what <laughs> it didn't look that dark now that i'm spreading it across my skin it's kind of gotten much darker i think i'd have to set uh, use a powder to set it so this side maybe I'll just use a little bit 
just a tiny bit. <laughs> just the tiniest bit if you just want a flush on the cheeks, but this is a pretty dark color. Look at that, <laughs> look at that color, that, that's a lot. So you can just like put it wherever you like and just blend, blend, blend. And I guess you would get a little bit of color and at the same time, sun protection. So yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. So I'm gonna go quickly set my face with powder because it's ultra glowy and I will be right back and we'll discuss uh, basically the review and my thoughts on the product. I'm back, I set my face with powder, but still it's ultra glowy, I gotta say. It's pretty glowy and it's very, um, because it's cream, it's really like almost skin-like. So I forgot to put this on. So this uh, shade in rose and it has like a I think I, I, guess I said that and I swatched it during swatches it has a, like a very medicinal herbal kind of a scent and it is like a mauve color like a pinky mauve color and it is lighter than my natural lip color so I wouldn't over apply it just one layer I wouldn't over apply it but maybe if I have like a darker lipstick underneath i would put like a maybe double layer but still yeah that is it and you can see that it is kind of like you can see that's lighter than my natural skin tone my natural lip color is peeking through so yeah so let's talk about the review performance and how i like these products do i recommend them all those things so let's talk about the cream sticks first so it's super amazing that they all have sunscreen in them and they're all physical sunscreen and not only that they also they're chemical free and they're water and sweat resistant as well so that is pretty fantastic pretty awesome for a makeup to have all these amazing ingredients and in addition it also has the pa rating pa rating as i said earlier it is like a rating specifically for uva how how amazing your product is from protecting your skin from UVA. That's what it specifically it, it is for, the PA rating. And they should have just given like a number instead of putting like just like plus signs, they should just give one, two, right? But there are four plus signs. I think the maximum like excellent, fantastic protection is like five plus signs. This one has four. So anyways, ingredient wise, I love it. It, it is a little expensive, but not crazy expensive. If you go to Sephora, you pr you find like cream sticks in this similar price ranges. And for this to have such amazing ingredients, sun protection and everything. So I think it's still, it is kind of like really good. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to like criticize about the price because there are a lot of expensive makeup products without SPF. So this is really great. So um, I gotta say, I know I've been raving about the fact that it has an SPF, but you're supposed to like slather your skin with sunscreen to get that ultimate skin protection. I don't know how much you can like really, really layer makeup on your face because you people wear like just enough, right? That's the like the best way to wear makeup. It differs from one pro one person to another, but it's not like you. I don't know. I probably wouldn't slather my skin or like apply several layers or depend on these products for sun protection. So uh, that being said, yeah, that that's something. So the practicality is I, I wouldn't like depend on this, right? I wouldn't like put apply layer and layer. Le like um, the lip gloss, I, I believe this is like the darkest shade. I'm not sure, but the, I did pick out like the shade that I like found that was darkest and it's still light on my lips and I wouldn't like put layer and layer on my lips. Um, we can still see the lips uh, peeking through. So I'm not sure how much actual sun protection you are getting. The ingredients list is good, but how much are you really gonna get, you know, practically speaking. So there's that. But let's talk about, so that's, uh, that's one aspect I wanted to get out of the way. How much are we really getting though, you know? Uh, my favorite among the three um blush sticks is the blush it's really fantastic i i guess if you have my skin tone dark skin or deeper you'll have to use this as um a highlighter but if you 
if you have like tan skin or lighter i think you can definitely use this as both highlighter and a blush i think this would really so well i love the tone it's like very very flesh tone guys it's really good it has the right amount of that a brown and pink in it it doesn't look sickly at all that pink does not make my me look sick my skin tone it actually makes it look quite healthy and also look like almost like blends into my skin i love the tone of pinky brown here it's a really beautiful shade so definitely for very natural days where you just want like that glow on your skin uh so yeah of course if you're strictly speaking if you want like a blush go with the berry but uh, you know there are several berry toned like sticks and blushes to be honest now my least favorite is a bronze just because it has those chunky glitter because i can make do with the blush so, to be honest because both i'm going to just apply a sheer layer on my skin and they this is gonna just look like skin with an ultimate glow and this is gonna look like skin with an ultimate glow but with like chunks of glitter here and there so bronze is my least favorite so i don't if you hate glitter i don't recommend bronze at all don't stay away from the bronze but if you just want one i would say pick the blush blush is my serious favorite like i really really like it but yeah anyways as for the lip gloss um, like I said, there's a practical, if you don't buy it for the sunscreen, that's just my general opinion on these products. Don't buy it for the sunscreen. Yes, there is sunscreen, but how much are you possibly going to put on your face? You know, like, so yeah, that's kind of like my thoughts on the product. I really like it, but I won't repurchase this. I won't be buying this for the sunscreen in them. You know what I mean? I would buy i would spend my money on real actual sunscreen and just slather it on my skin um so yeah if you're interested in other color science products that i i absolutely adore and i reviewed i'll leave those link down below so you can take a look at them so that is it i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this video helped you make a decision whether you want to get them or not maybe give you like an idea of what these colors look on my skin tone so you can kind of like extrapolate i guess <laughs> on on your skin tone so yeah i will see you guys very soon and goodbye